Welcome to this presentation on the Ace Post Touchscreen System Standard Version. This system is meant for managing your food and beverage businesses such as restaurants, cafes, bistros, karaoke's, nightclubs and other similar businesses. This system will help you track all your sales bills, track your inventory quantity balance for such items as drinks, cakes, pastries, etc. Track your food cost by percentage if your outlet is selling cooked meals. Track your VIP customer's consumption pattern at your outlets. Track your supplier's purchase costs. Track your staff attendance times. And provide faster service to your customers by having the system to print all kitchen and bar orders immediately through printers located there. Overall, if you use this ACE POST system, you will be able to not just provide much more faster and better service to your customers, but you will be able to manage all your inventory at your outlet. The system is very easy to use using touchscreen technology. This is an example of a touchscreen layout. Now, what are the hardware requirements needed to operate this system? You can operate this system on a standard PC with a receipt printer as you can see in this picture here. You can have an actual touch sensitive screen to attach to this PC to use the touch technology of the software system. Or you can use an integrated hardware system like what you see here. Of course, the integrated hardware system is much more space saving and attractive but you do need to invest a little more. You have the choice of whether you want to attach kitchen and bar printers to the system to enable faster food and drink delivery service to your customers. This is an example of a layout of a system using one kitchen printer and one bar printer. Now let's go into the actual demonstration of the system. First, we click on the icon representing the system and you will notice that the password screen will show up. Enter your user's name and password. If correct, the system will allow you access. You can set as many users' names and password as you like with each name and password being given access to only certain sections of the system. Now next, the system will pick up the current date of the computer and if you find this to be incorrect, then you can go to the others column and click on change today's date. Now changing the date of the system is a privilege option which means only higher management users can do this. This is the main menu of the system where all the selectable options are. You will notice that there are four main sections. Maintenance, where all the options for you to create new item codes, new classifications etc are provided. New items are the individual types of food and drink items that you sell at your outlet. The posting section where you use all the options available under here to update your daily transactions such as issuing sales bills, purchases of stock items. The report section where you are able to print all the management and analysis reports from the system. The other section where there are utility options for you to manage this system, configuration of the way you want to use the system to manage your F&B businesses. Let's go to the maintenance section to see what options are available. The first option available is the VIP customer maintenance option. This option will allow you to record an individual VIP account for each of your regular customers. And you can input such information as name, address, contact numbers, and even email accounts. Once your VIP customer details are in the system, the next time they come to your shop, you will be able to analyze the total income you derive from each of these VIP customers and you can use these contact information to send out latest promotions and new menu items.
Now the second maintenance option is for you to set up the waitress and waitresses code if you wish to track the sales by these people. You can also make use of this to pay commission for each type of food or drink sold by these waiters and waitresses. The next maintenance option is for the general ledger link accounts. This is not a accounting system, but the total sales derived from the system needs to be transferred ultimately to your accounting system. And this GL link accounts summarizes those accounting entries needed from this system. The next option of stock maintenance allows you to create multiple location codes for each F&B outlet. The codes for the various types of food and drinks you sell, the types of cooking instructions if you are using kitchen and bar printers, and the types of choices for set meals. Now let's go a little into the details of these options. The individual stock items represent the type of food and beverage items that you sell. Now each item on the menu needs to be created with a code and this is then attached to a touch key button on the screen. As you can see here, the, these are some of the details you need to set up for each item. Now next we have the condiments menu. Here is an example. You can create any type of cooking instructions you have and then you can specify for which sales item you wish to allow for these instructions. Now the sales package maintenance option will allow you to set up the different types of menu selection allowed under set meals such as lunch and dinner. Now the promotion table maintenance allows you to preset special promotions such as happy hours for drinks, discount for meals on certain days of the week, etc. You can choose the range of dates or even time to allow for this special promotion. You can accept different currencies for payment if you set up the currency exchange rates here. You can also set up account numbers for individual suppliers to track the purchase prices of ingredients or any other food stuff that you purchase from them. Let's go to the next main section of the system, which is the posting section. The first option available here is the post operation option, which is the main option used by the users daily to produce sales bills and also to manage the daily cash receipts. First, you enter the cash float into the system. This is a loose change in cash, which the cashers have for the start of business. An actual start of business slip is printed and the users keep this as a starting record in the cash drawer. This is the main screen where all customers are served. First, we select a table where your customers sit to enter their orders. The table layout can be changed by you to represent your actual layout. You can enter a table by clicking or touching on a screen if you are using an actual touch sensitive screen. Next, you can just indicate number of guests and you will come to the regular VIP customers details page. Select the VIP's account if he's one, or just touch on the cash sales button if he's not. You can also immediately create a new account for a new customer if you want to track his orders with you on a regular basis so that the next time he comes in, his record is already in your system. Now let's choose a regular customer account and proceed to process a sales bill. You enter the promoter or the waiter waitress code that serve this table. Here you can see the main screen where every F&B item you provide is in button form, making the system very easy to use indeed. Just touch the button representing the sales item that the customer orders. 
Now you can even have pictures on the buttons to represent the sales items. Now once you have selected some items, you can have a button to actually modify the condiments or cooking instructions. For example here, Now finally, you can hold and print a temporary bill or you can just hold the bill without printing or you can even settle the bill immediately. Let's just hold and print the bill. Now you can see from the screen here, the occupied table now has a different color for it. Now let's create another bill. Next, you touch the settle payment button to collect full payment. And the customers can either pay by cash or even by credit cards. The actual settle bill is printed and passed to the customer. There are also other functions like checking on the cash balance in the cash drawer, splitting a bill, combining or changing table, reprinting a bill, or cancelling a bill. Now let's settle the other bill as well. At the end of the shift, you touch the exit button. Now this process can be controlled by password to allow only authorized manager to allow the exit if you want to. The system will track the total payment types received for the day. This is where the cash counting is done to tally the totals given by the system. When the post operation is ended, an end of day printout is given, which should be matched with the start of day printout earlier and kept as proof of the day's operation. If you have sales of stock items, you can use this purchase posting option to post all stock purchases so that the system will help you track your stock items quantity balances. You can use this option to post finished goods purchases as well as ingredient purchases for tracking of food costs by percentages. Next, let's go to the report section. These are the reports you can get from this system. The daily sales report gives you analysis of the day's income by type of payments or types of sales products as shown here. The post transaction report gives you full details of every cash bill printed for the customers. You can use this option to check on every single transaction concluded for the day. The peak hour sales report shows you your hour sales by hour on specific days of the week for your analysis purposes.
There are additional information such as total number of guests, number of bills, total items sold, average sales value, average item per bill, average guests, and also the table turns. The promoter's report shows total sales by individual waiter or waitresses. The promoter's commission report allows you to calculate commission payable to them automatically if you have this set up. This report can be printed in detail or summary form. The promoter's sales report shows the individual items sold by each waiter or waitresses. So you will know who among them are doing a great job for you. If you have keyed in your costs for each of your sales item, you can even see the profitability brought in by each of these waiters. The GL link accounts report gives a summary of all general ledger entries needed to be posted to your accounting system. The payment analysis report shows the net collection by types of payment with details of the cashiers involved. The cashier's collection report shows the total cash or credit payments received by cashiers for the days which allows you to identify who is responsible for how much of the collection. The departmental analysis report shows you your daily sales, cost and profit by days of the month. The management reports are the most important reports for you. If you have entered your cost for each type of sales item, then you can enter your cost password and the reports will show you profitability on top of the actual sales income. Here is an example of the income by different classifications you have set in the system. You can see clearly your income by different types of FMB and profitability as well instantly. You can also choose to print in details item by item for this report. You can also choose to print each day of the week the business volume. The void report will print all cancellations of your cash bills and if so, you can check for such cancellations. The discount report will print details of any discount given by the cashers. The sales and service tax report will print the tax amount that you charge to your customers. The payout and safe drop listing will show out any safe drop or listing amount that you took out from the till. And finally, the food and beverage costing report will give you the overall cost percentage of your food or any items that you may have set up using this percentage.
For example, here you can see that it shows that the total food cost for this month is 71%, out of which 50% is meat, 3% is spices, and 70% for vegetables, using the total sales as 100%. And for beverage, coffee, and tea, you have a total cost of 14%. And for juices, a total cost of 16%. Now, you also have a report staff attendance to show the times that your staff comes to work and goes off. You have a members index list which shows you the list of all sales by individual VIP members. You can also print the details of the items that they consume at your retail outlet. Now the stock index report gives a listing of all the sales items you have at your outlet. If you are selling sales items such as uh, accessories and souvenirs, you can actually print the barcodes if you want to using an option here. Now the analysis table listing prints for you the classifications that you have put into your locations. For example, your types of income or items that you sell at your F&B outlet, and even the subclassifications. Now the sales package menu listing gives you a report of how you have set up your different selections available for set the meal such as dinner or lunch. The stock balance report gives you a balance of all quantities for items that you are controlling stock. The sales analysis report shows the income or actual sales derived from each individual item that you have in your system. You can print this report ranked by top income in terms of quantity, sales or even profit. Now the stock transactions report lists out all types of transactions that you have posted in the system for checking purposes such as stock purchases, sales and all types of other transfers. The same apply for the stock ledger which allows you to check transaction item by item. Now the next section of others have options such as administrative tools where you can set up different users with different access rights to the system, different ways of operating this ASPO system as well as many other system maintenance. Let's look at some example. This is a system setup screen where you can define details of how you want the system to operate, the reporting, the cost, whether you allow discount, how many decimal places and so on. The post operation, whether you have privilege cards, whether you wish to round up your bills, 
whether you have manual locking for each cashier's shift or different cashier locking in for each shift, for example. How you want your bills printed on what sort of paper. What sort of devices are attached to your systems and so on. Tax details, for example. What sort of password protection you want for users to, for example, reprint bills, deactivate the system, cancel. The food and beverage costing, how you set up the table here that matches the type of sales against the type of cost. Now with this, you have come to the end of this uh, presentation. Thank you for your time in watching this presentation.